In the hidden corridors of global power plays, a silent struggle unfolds, a battle not just for resources, but for the very future of geopolitical dominance. As we turn our attention to the aftermath of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, we uncover a narrative that goes beyond the headlines. Why, despite relentless sanctions, has Russia's economy not crumbled? Join us as we unravel the layers of a fierce economic battle, a race for Arctic supremacy, and the geopolitical chessboard that could redefine the balance of power. Can the West navigate the complexities of containing Russia, or are we witnessing the emergence of a new global super power. It has been 19 months since Russia's invasion of Ukraine, and during this time, the international community has applied significant pressure to prevent further escalation. NATO member nations have imposed a range of sanctions targeting Russia's economy, energy sector, military, and political elite in an effort to exert pressure. However, despite a year and seven months passing, these sanctions seem to have had limited impact on Vladimir Putin's regime. Why hasn't Russia's economy fully collapsed by now? While the world's attention has been focused on Ukraine, Russia has quietly formed new geopolitical alliances and executed strategic maneuvers that could significantly enhance its global influence. A fierce economic battle is underway between the Western world and Russia, with both sides leveraging their strengths to gain an upper hand. The Western nations employ financial sanctions against Russia as a means of punishing its actions in Ukraine and other regions. Conversely, Russia capitalizes on its abundant natural resources, particularly oil and gas, to counter these measures. A prime example of this strategy is the production cut agreement between Russia and Saudi Arabia, which reduced global oil supply by over a million barrels per day. This move triggered a substantial spike in oil prices, surging by 5% in a single day and reaching an unprecedented high of over $94 per barrel in 2023. This surge in oil prices bears severe consequences for Western economies already grappling with high inflation. Elevated oil prices translate to increased energy costs, further elevating the prices of various goods and services. Consequently, central banks face mounting pressure to raise interest rates, potentially stalling economic growth and, in some cases, pushing countries into recession. The effects of the oil price surge are evident in the inflation and interest rate figures for both the U.S. and the EU. The U.S. Consumer Price Index, CPI, inflation has rebounded to 3.7%, primarily due to rising energy prices. Even though the EU is mired in a recession, the European Central Bank, ECB, has raised its interest rate to a historic 4% due to excessively high inflation rates in the Eurozone, surpassing its target. This underscores the significant influence of energy supply on economic conditions and how Russia is exploiting this power to challenge the West. However, Russia's ambitions extend beyond its current position. Its ultimate goal is to dominate the Arctic region, known for its vast reserves of oil and gas. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, the Arctic is estimated to contain 90 billion barrels of oil, comprising 13% of the world's undiscovered oil reserves. Additionally, the Arctic houses 30% of global gas reserves largely untapped. These resources are valued in trillions of dollars, and whoever secures access to them first gains a substantial edge in the global energy market. This fierce competition for Arctic dominance involves major powers, including the US, the EU, and Russia. Russia is already leading this race, cooperating with China to secure natural gas resources in the region. Reports suggest that Russia's Arctic 2 LNG project is set to commence production in 2023, an ambitious endeavor that will extract vast reserves of natural gas from the Arctic and export them globally. Should Russia gain control over Arctic oil and gas, it would rival energy production giants like Saudi Arabia and Qatar. This scenario complicates the West's ability to impose sanctions on Russia or implement oil price caps. The Arctic race transcends economic gain. It's about geopolitical control and power. Recent years have underscored a fundamental truth. Control of commodities equates to control over the world. Yet, Russia's interest in the Arctic extends beyond economic advantages. The region offers strategic benefits for its military and naval operations. As reported by the U.S. Department of Defense, Russia has expanded its military presence and capabilities in the Arctic, constructing new bases, upgrading existing ones, deploying advanced weaponry, and conducting exercises. 
Russia regards the Arctic as vital to its national security, defense, and a potential source of conflict, particularly with NATO members and other countries. The West's urgency to adopt green initiatives has inadvertently played into Russia's hands. Controlling energy production and exports equates to controlling global economic growth. While the West acknowledges this, its focus remains on accelerating green efforts. In 2020, Russia allocated over $300 billion to its Arctic endeavors, developing infrastructure for oil and gas extraction beneath the ice. The potential returns on this investment are staggering, with the oil and gas reserves alone valued at $35 trillion, not to mention significant deposits of gold and base metals in the North Pole. Putin's Arctic investment could yield returns ranging from 10 to 100 times the initial investment, bolstering Russia's position as a global commodity superpower. This should deeply concern the West, as containing Russia is becoming increasingly challenging. Russia could respond to sanctions or oil price caps by increasing production, selling to BRICS countries, and wielding significant supply power. Hence, the Arctic race carries immense strategic importance. However, economic gains are only one facet of the story. The Arctic has broader strategic and geopolitical implications for Russia and the world. It boasts critical shipping routes, notably the Northern Sea Route, linking Europe and Asia via the Arctic Ocean. This route is shorter, cost-effective, and safer than traditional alternatives like the Suez Canal or the Strait of Malacca. Russia actively promotes this route as an alternative to Western-dominated options, drawing more customers, especially from China, its key Arctic partner. Russia bolsters its military and security presence in the region by deploying troops, ships, submarines, aircraft, missiles, and establishing new bases and radar stations. While Russia claims to defend its interests and sovereignty in the Arctic, its actions have been deemed provocative and aggressive by other countries, especially the US and NATO, who have their own stakes and allies in the region. The Arctic Council reports that Russia controls over half, 53%, of the Arctic Ocean coastline, with approximately 2.5 million Russians residing in Arctic territories. Russia's established communities in the region distinguish it from countries like Canada, the US, and Finland, which also have Arctic access. Russia's superior geographic location grants it extensive control over Arctic sea routes, a significant advantage for transporting energy resources from the Arctic to Europe or Asia. This control enables Russia to efficiently transport energy resources from the Arctic to countries like China and India in the East significantly reducing both time and costs. While environmental concerns cannot be ignored, Russia's primary focus lies in dominating energy trade routes, expediting shipments to boost revenue, and reducing dependence on Europe. Putin's ability to redirect more energy resources to Asia, coupled with the uncertainty of the EU as a reliable customer, will likely drive Russia to further develop the Arctic trading route, increase oil and gas production, and prioritize shipments to Asia. Thank you for sticking with me till the end. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, take care.